All right, what's up YouTube? Um, I have a pretty cool video today. I got a box in front of me. Um, I'm usually not too great at waiting, but uh, if this gives you any indication, this is a pretty special one that I've been waiting for a long time for. So uh, I decided to wait and do an unboxing. Today I have some flame pandas to unbox. And uh, if you don't know who Flame Panda is, his name is Peng. Um, he is a maker out of a rural village in China. He has a small workshop, um, employs, uh, I'm not sure exactly how many people, but a handful of people. Um, these boots are incredibly handmade. Uh, and they take a long time, about 10 months, um, a little over 10 months to delivery. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's get into this unboxing here. Um, I ordered these boots in like March or April of 2021. Um, not cheap, as you would expect, um, something so handmade. Um, at the time, all I did was just DM Pang on Instagram. Uh, he's kind of, I don't want to say notorious, but he's a little bit known for being kind of hard to get a hold of. Um, he's really the only one who speaks, speaks English in his workshop. So, uh, you know, he's making boots, doing research, doing pattern research, doing leather research. And uh, all at the same time, he's the customer service, he's responding to messages, taking orders. Um, so it can be hard. Um, some people swear by email, some people swear by uh, just the Instagram DM. I've had, I've had luck with both. I haven't had too hard of a time. Um, but as far as that sort of thing goes, I consider myself pretty patient. Um, it's just once I know the orders in is when that's when I start to get impatient, right? So 10 months is a long time to wait. Um, real quickly, uh, before I show these boots off, Ooh, man, these are a boondocker, um, in a CF stead snuff reverse kudu. All right. So here we go. We're ready. Flame Panda unboxing. Boom. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, this is a cool little uh, keychain design. Actually, I've seen these. Uh, you know, Peng, he'll list, sometimes he'll show like um, a, uh, like a, like a belt or a wallet and say, hey, if you want one of these handmade products for a gift um, with your order, just, just let me know. Um, and this is pretty cool design. I like that. So you slide that up, hook it on your boat loop, slide it down, locks in place. That's, that's a pretty cool design. Um, I might, maybe I'll use that. I, I use that little keychain that I made, just a leather one, but that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use that. So there's my little free gift for, uh, from, from Flame Panda from Peng instead of opting for a belt. Uh, he did post that he was doing belts, but I don't really, uh, truth be told, I don't wear a leather belt. Um, so I opted to just not say anything. And I guess that's what I got. Ooh, some nice, or a really nice shoe bag. I mean, this thing's huge. This must be like 12 by 20, 24 maybe. I'm not sure what that character character means uh, maybe it's just Peng's logo or his name or something who knows if you know what that what that character is kind of looks like a uh, like a leather knife um but yeah it's a cool logo couple we got three pairs of laces here kind of some like tazlon laces here and we got some flat waxed not super waxy, and then some round wax. I actually like round wax laces quite a bit. These, I bought a pair of Bounty Hunters and there were some of these in there. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll see. I've never used them before and I actually really like them. They work really well. But I also am a fan of flat wax. 
not a fan of this type of lace really um or the paracord i know uh some companies are real real popular those paracord laces and uh i'm just not not a huge fan of them i don't find that they um grip super well i prefer like a like a waxed lace that really really grips when you tight tighten it you know like a, like a leather lace or something just like a raw cord lace okay here we go so these are kind of just a generic kind of bag um that he ships in and here we go first look boom wow You know, it's honestly been so long since I ordered these <laughs> that I kind of forgot what what it was that I ordered. Um, <laughs> uh, so, well, oh, so I guess I got those laces. There's a, a lighter and a darker version. Same same lace. Let me see if this lighting. Uh, yeah, maybe that's a little bit better lighting. Wow, this leather is soft. So, you know, one of the things that everyone says about flame pandas is how heavy they are. And this is actually pretty light. It doesn't really feel much different than like a like a Viberg or something. Um, it, uh, maybe just the, the makeup I did. Um, so this is a just, yeah, like a regular stitch down construction that is hand sewn which is pretty impressive dr soul super grip this is i believe the thin one this is the super grip too i think the full soul the original half heel um not the raw cord um the raw cord can be i think a little too stiff a lot of people say that um really nice hard counter wow this leather is super soft it's not, it's actually not as thick as I was expecting. Uh, you can see some of that, some of that kudu kind of natural scarring on the inside there, the smooth side, um, but the rough outside is, man, this stuff is really supple. Soft toe, that is a very, very soft toe box. So these are built on the 206 last, which is, uh, I think what Peng said before, it's kind of like his, um like traditional like where he lives like shape of shoe last and i think it works really well on this boondocker style you know every the trend is like the flattest toe box you can get a lot of the time you know with those clinch like engineers those type of type of things oh wow that's cool look at those speed hooks have a uh, peng's little logo on it that is super cool i'm not sure i've seen that before on anyone else or at least I haven't noticed that. That is really cool. So, Peng's got some branded uh, speed hooks. All right. There's the other one. Yeah, same speed hooks. Super cool. This color is is nice. Wow, this it like almost feels like a suede. Um, More suede-like than, I guess, your typical rough-out leather would be. And here's natural CXL rough-out. So you can see that color difference. This is pretty much what you normally see a boondocker in, is natural CXL rough-out. So that's that's the, the typical color you see. Um, and I had kind of some internal conflict because I ordered these boots and then, you know, I waited so long. And by the time I really kind of realized, realized what the deal was, it was, it was too late to, to change my order with paying. And so I think if I were to do it again, I would just get a natural CXL rough out, just like the classic boondocker. It's a USMC M43 boondocker. Um, what do they call it? Like a type two service boot too sometimes. Um, you know, John Lofgren, M43s, St. Tulum does a good one. Uh, Viberg's done some boondockers for Rivet and Hyde in London. Um, I saw a photo of these and it's funny cause a few other members, uh, online have, 
have ordered a really similar makeup because we all kind of saw that same photo at the same time and uh and and opted for it it looks like yeah it looks like the tongue so i i told pang to do whatever he wanted for the tongue and it looks like he did natural cxl um i would say that that looks like natural cxl to me that is Yep, I'd say natural CXL, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, is that I, you know, have a little bit of both, so you can see what the boot is, and then what it, the boot typically is on the Boondocker color-wise. And uh, I really like these, actually. I, I've been a little nervous to receive these, thinking that maybe I won't like them so much. Um, a little bit of regret for not getting that CXL rough out, but this leather is soft. I can tell, I mean, these uppers are gonna be really, really comfortable. One of the things that people say online about Flame Pandas is the uppers are usually super thick and like a really hard temper and the uppers take a super long time to break in. So, you know, you see like a eight inch tall monkey boot with like a double midsole and a rock hoard. And it's like, man, that thing looks like a brick, but this leather, this uh, midsole feels, yeah, it's, it feels a little stiff. It's not not super flexible, but but the boot's actually really light. I wish I had brought my my scale out here because um, I'd check the weight on these. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll run inside and grab it. I'll just kind of pause this video and I'll... Uh... So yeah, I'll just grab that... Uh, um scale and we'll weigh these boots i grabbed a couple other boots too to see in comparison uh, one note i would like to make is i just actually checked my notes i should have done that before this video and i did spec a raw cord full sole so it looks like he did put the wrong wrong sole on these but uh i'm not mad at it, it i think it looks okay um it's a pretty simple sole setup just that full sole and the half heel one stack so I mean really if I wanted to to change that out it wouldn't be too hard to do um yeah so yeah I'm not too worried about that but uh that's just something interesting to note but one of the one of the things sometimes you know with these workshops is uh things get lost in translation or lost in the mix they got a lot of orders and they handle um, handle things themselves. So, you know, sometimes orders, orders are wrong and that's okay. It happens. Um, let's see, is that, yeah, it's a leather foot pad. I thought maybe there's some paper in there. It's, but it's, uh, just really lightly colored veg tan. Um, yeah, leather insole. Interesting. I just want to make sure there's nothing in it when we weigh these. So, Let's see, camera focus, there we go, okay. So, yeah, let's go pounds and ounces. So one pound, 14 and a half ounces. That's not too bad. Um, here in comparison, here is a white, MP in cinnamon wax flesh. Um, we'll weigh this. This has but no shoe tree in there. Um, so two pounds, 7.7 .7 ounces. That is quite a bit heavier than the Flame Panda. Um, and then here is my NYX Prospector Wicked and Craig Tan Oil with Tigo, Latigo. And that weighs. Two pounds, 11.9 ounces. So yeah, uh, Flame Panda Boondocker coming in in under two pounds. That's pretty cool. Um, that is super cool. So yeah, I do actually have, let me see, it's not too loud off camera. I do have a Dr. Soul here. Yeah, so these are, the soles that are on these are definitely the super grips. Um, the 
super grip twos okay so i'm actually not mad about that and that kind of makes me like these even more because they are so light so here is the dr soul raw cord full soul so this is actually what i ordered on these boots but you can see how much thicker that actually would have been than the super grip two full soles that are on these and so the super grip this is a super grip two half sole um and you can see that thickness there is about the same so yeah it looks like uh why my camera's not focusing all of a sudden um, it looks like a little bit of a mix-up on the sole makeup but uh, not a big deal because i i like how light these are these are notoriously kind of a heavy sole and uh not super flexible um so on this uh lightweight boondocker yeah it kind of works uh, that's cool i'm glad i have those dr souls uh just right there ready to go so you can see them um this is supposedly a six inch height boot I'm not sure if that is measured the wesco way yeah looks like it's the wesco way so six inch high from the ground so about a five inch upper um a little shorter than I typically like in a boot. I usually like this, this white has a six inch boot. And yeah, I mean, it's a full, it's a good full inch taller. Um, I just kind of like that ankle hitting up a little bit higher. Um, but these aren't bad. Um, I'm, I'll get them tried on. Um, I'm not sure about how the sizing is going to work out. I uh, just ended up giving paying some measurements and this is the size he came up with for me get a close-up of that stitching the the qc and the craftsmanship on these boots is is really what you're paying for you know it's a yes it's a long wait but man these things are perfect and i mean i'm really not even going to go over them with a fine tooth comb because i know they're perfect <laughs> I really don't need to see see too much to know that uh, these things are pretty perfect. It's a pretty pretty high SPI for hand stitched uh, stitch down construction there. Um, that focus. All right. Well, super grip two. It is super sleek. That is that thing is lightweight and very sleek looking. I'm very happy about that. So cool. Uh, let me know if you guys have any comments. Sorry, I don't have too much more to say. Kind of just a unboxing and um, initial impressions video on these Flame Panda Boondockers. Again, in CF Stead, CF Stead um, Snuff Kudu Reverse. Flame Panda for the win. All right, guys, have a good night. Talk to you later.